I think, well, I think in, in this regard, the role of a historian of science and also to some extent a philosopher of science is to see what it is that scientists actually do in, in their day-to-day -day activities and, and have done in the past. And this often turns out to be a little bit different from what they say they do or what they, what they believe they do. And I mean, one comparison here would, would be the person who's quite competent at riding a bicycle but knows nothing about the physics of what they're doing. And in a sense, I think scientists are like the people who ride bicycles, a marvellous accomplishment in a sense. But there's a different kind of activity that looks at what they're actually doing. And that's, that's the activity that, that interests me. And it, it would be insignificant were science not such a wonderful activity. It wouldn't be worth doing if that were not the case. So there's nothing here. I'm not attempting to discount the achievements of science, and I'm certainly not attempting to say um, that, that it's not a worthwhile activity. But it's, it's because of its significance in our culture that I find its history so important uh, and its philosophy so important. In a sense, that's what leads me to an interest in these questions. And these are not questions that scientists are trained to answer, nor should they necessarily be interested in, in answering them. But that's my particular interest.